We're here today because after a string of shootings in the state of Texas, this most recent mass shooting killed eight people, destroying families, all because of a white supremacist who had access to military grade assault weapons in a state like Texas that requires no background checks, has absolutely no limitations on the ability of violent people to get their hands on weapons. We in Gays Against Guns are here to say that it, this issue is not about mental illness. It's about the guns. We have more guns in this country than we have people. There are people living with mental illnesses in countries all across the globe, but they do not have more than one mass shooting every single day. This is an American problem that the American Congress and the American president need to address with common sense, gun violence prevention legislation. The right wing in this country will deny to their dying breath the responsibility that their hateful ideologies have for the gun violence problem that we have in this country. But we are here to say that we have their policies, their hatred, their vitriol, their demonization of other to blame for this shooting right here. The man who shot these people was an avowed white supremacist. It does not matter that he had an Hispanic name. He had SS tattoos on his arm. He posted repeatedly, repeatedly, white supremacist rhetoric. We will not say his name because we will not give him the fame that he craved. But we will call him out for his hatred. We will call him out for his violence. And we will call out Texas Governor Greg Abbott for his years and years of inaction as the body count has mounted across his state. We see these killings constantly in this country. And Gays Against Guns came out into the streets for every single mass shooting that happened in this country. We would literally be out in the streets 24-7, 365 days a year. And we still wouldn't be able to cover every single one. That is what gun violence is doing to this country. So we are here in front of the New York Public Library to take a stand here in New York City, as far as we're concerned, that capital of the world, to say that the kinds of laws that the right-wing Supreme Court overturned in New York State last year, the ones that our state government is fighting valiantly to replace in ways that will work around the Supreme Court decision, that those are the kinds of laws that we need federally. But most importantly, when it comes to situations like this mass shooting in this mall in Allen, Texas, this shooting that killed these eight souls, three of them children, that right now the biggest threat to any mass gathering 
any people just minding their business, going about their daily business, is assault weapons. And that is why you see these signs, ban assault rifles now, because they are the threat. Military weapons do not belong in the hands of civilians. Right. We say ban assault weapons now. Thank you. Ban assault ban. weapons now. Ban assault ban. weapons now. Ban assault weapons now. Ban assault weapons now. Ban assault weapons now. I'm media just like you, please. Just I'm a part of the group. We just want one frame for it's not just like me, I have a press pass in my pocket. But I'm with the group, I want it for that. Wait, 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 w